This is a very, very last minute video, but I thought I can't go to Aldi, do my shop and not show you, especially as I've got really sort of yummy dinners coming up. And also I'm doing another um, three for under 15 pounds meal video soon. So I sort of wanted to talk you through the meal plan that we're eating over the next week. So I'm going to be filming um, next week uh, my next three for under 15 pound meals from Aldi. The theme of the meals is going to be one pot meals so anything you can sort of make and just chuck everything in the pot fry it up zhuzh it up whatever it's all going to be made in the same pot so like super duper simple easy meals to make so the first meal i'm going to do is um my spicy sriracha chicken and rice i made it in a recent vlog but i didn't sort of talk through the recipe or the ingredients or anything um, i just sort of made it willy-nilly in a vlog and lots of you have been messaging me asking for that recipe so i thought well that's one of my favorite dinners, so let's make it. So it's a one pan chicken and rice spicy dinner. It's absolutely blooming delicious. So obviously I'm going to need a pack of chicken. So I've actually got three packs of uh, their free range chicken thigh fillets. Chicken thigh fillets are much more economical um, money wise and they don't tend to go as dry as breast and things like that. We've got some chicken and then I'm going to be making like a really gorgeous spicy fragrant rice with that. So we're going to be using some carrots. So I got a bag of carrots this week. Um, we're going to be using some onions. So I've got some onions this week. Actually we've got two bags of onions because I'm going to be batch cooking some recipes as well very soon. Um, so I've got carrots, onions and also petit pois. Petit pois, that's also going to go into it. And then we're going to be using spices and sriracha sauce. That's going to be delicious. Two broccolis as well from Aldi this week. Um, I get broccoli. Broccoli is like a weekly thing. I tend to just get it every single week regardless because we're always eating it. I always get the broccoli with the um, most amount of these leaves because my rabbit, who's over there loves them so he loves the broccoli stalks so i get as many leaves on the stalk as i possibly can but yeah i've got two broccolis which are an essential in this household i got two packs of wraps and um, we've been getting the seeded wraps they're just really nice there's eight in a pack i bought two we have wraps all of the time all of the time but this week the meals we're going to be having are fajitas so we're going to be having like veggie or chicken fajitas which are going to be delicious um lawrence is also making pulled pork mexican style burritos so i'm really very much looking forward to when he makes those so they're going to be delicious and um i often put butter in one of these wraps and microwave it and give it to Oren and he really really enjoys just sort of snacking on that if we're in the car it's a really easy thing to give him and um, so he's enjoying wraps at the moment so with our wraps we put them straight in the freezer because they're very easy to separate um, and take out however many you need so they go straight in the freezer we have what else do we have so broccoli carrots we have bananas these are um something we buy every single week multiple times a week we have so many bananas Every single banana in this house gets used. If we don't eat it um, just as a snack, we'll put it in smoothies, we'll put it in a banana loaf. We're always, we're just banana crazy in this house. I've got some Dutch uh, Mastam cheese. It's like Edam cheese um, slices. We have some um, veggie burgers in the freezer. So that's going to be part of our meals this week. Got some milk. We always get the filtered blue milk. Um, I got a new big tub or pot of honey. Um, I put honey in our smoothies daily. We have pretty much daily smoothies and I always put lots of honey in. It soothes the throat and honey's good for you and it sweetens the sort of sourness of the smoothie. Um, I've got some more self-raising flour. I just get the essentials one. It's, it works very, very well. But as I said about the bananas, we make, well, I make a banana loaf pretty much weekly. We really enjoy them here. And um, yeah, I use self-raising flour for that. Um, coriander, that's going to go onto our Mexican burritos. Sour cream and chive. And we've got guacamole. Sour cream and chive and guacamole. So half of those will be used for the burrito dinner and then half for chicken fajitas, which we're going to be having in the week. And um, chicken fajitas is honestly one of my favorite dinners ever. Um, so I've got baby plum tomatoes. 
I put up a vlog a few days ago and lots of you were upset about these tomatoes that I threw away. What I didn't mention, I, I rarely ever throw food away. I did say I was gonna put it on the compost, but actually that day that I was filming, I went to the farm and often I bring food like that. Like I had withered tomatoes basically. Often I bring food like that and feed it to the pigs there because they really enjoy them and they're okay for the pigs. Uh, thank you for all the tips. Lots of you said never throw away like withered tomatoes, put them in the freezer and then when you've got enough, like make a, like a pizza sauce or a soup. Yeah, so they didn't go to waste waste. They did get, f I did feed them to the pigs. However, I know for next time not to sort of get rid of with the tomatoes. So thank you for those tips. But anyway, I've got some baby plum tomatoes. These are actually going to be part of another meal I'm making as part of the three for under 15 pounds from Aldi. So I'm making a tuna pasta and cake, tuna and caper pasta salad. Um, and it's gonna be really, really delicious. And I'm gonna be putting some fresh tomatoes in there. Um, so that's like a one pan meal. It's really nice. We got some limes, that's going to be for our burritos and our fajitas. Um, as I said, we've got lots and lots of onions, two bags of onions. We've got potatoes. We have jacket potatoes very often throughout the week, so that'll be one of our meals this week. Oren loves a jacket potato. And also, we're going to be making our uh, burgers and homemade fries with that. It's gonna be very good. Um, we've got some lettuce. The lettuce is going to go towards our homemade burgers this week. I got a pack of celery. So celery is great for roasting and um, also snacking. And we might do like a roast chicken dinner this weekend. Um, I've got some peppers. So some of the peppers will go with our burritos and some of the peppers go with our, I'm really conscious about the rustling. And some of the peppers will go with our chicken fajitas. As I said, I did get three packs of chicken. So we're going to be making, so two are going to go in the freezer. One pack of chicken will go to our um, chicken and rice, which is going to be for the three for under 15 pounds meal. Um, but I am making chicken pizzas next week. Um, and then we've got two bags of coffee beans. We tend to always get these ones. These are the Owl Cafe coffee beans. Uh, my sister got us a coffee grinder for Christmas and actually we've moved on to beans. Um, I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about but I don't know anything about coffee. Um, I got some lemons, we always have lemons in the fridge but uh, there's going to be lemon going into the tuna pasta dish that I'm making and there's going to be lemon in water, <laughs> there's going to be lemon, we always use lemons. Um, I've got two tins of coconut milk probably be going I'm probably going to be, be making a curry this week I love to use coconut milk and um, but I got one for a curry and I got another one because I want to make some more chocolate mousse if you've not seen this video I will link it down below <gasps> the chocolate mousse I made 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 I got a couple of tins of beans uh, we always have beans in this house and I got some black beans we're going to be having um some crushed black beans with our fajitas this week. Delicious like that. Um, we got some of these, mini delights they're called. So Orange just had one in the car on the way home from the farm. Loved them. Um, I just thought they're really, really cute. Just one little one every now and then. Um, got some frozen peas, which I need to get back in the freezer. I got some Parmesan. Another one of my one pan dishes is going to be homemade spaghetti hoops but make it luxury. Um, so it's like spaghetti hoop, like a really gorgeous pasta, um, hidden veggie sauce. And it's going to be um, cream in there and Parmesan and loads and loads of veggies, but they're going to be like spaghetti hoops. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. So that's one of my one pan meals because everything is made in the same pan with that. We got some mozzarella. We're really enjoying homemade pizzas at the moment and putting mozzarella on them is necessary. Um, but we'll probably have a bit of mozzarella with our burritos. I got some mascarpone, because I'm going to be putting some mascarpone in my uh, tuna pasta dish that I'm going to be making as my one pan um, recipes. We got some tuna. Um, so that's going to be, obviously some of the tuna will be used as my dish, but quite often I make a tuna pasta salad that I leave in the fridge and then uh, Oren and I eat it. I've got a new thing of garlic. The garlics from Aldi are so hit or miss, in my opinion. One day they're good, one day they're terrible. 
Um, so hopefully they will be okay. Big bag of Fusely pasta, just to keep, we always make pasta in this house. Guys, I got myself some cookie dough ice cream. <sighs> For the last two weeks, all I have been thinking about is the best ever chocolate eclairs that you can get from M&S. Um, they are like my ultimate treat me type thing. Like I will plan out when I'm having them. I'll make sure I've got a good film on. I'll have a face mask on and I'll treat myself to one of those eclairs. And guys, oh, I went to an M&S today and I actually saw one of you guys, um, Sally Ann and her daughter. So thank you for saying hello to me. That was really, really kind. Um, but I bumped into an M&S while I was running around desperately looking for these chocolate eclairs. They didn't have them in that M&S. Um, and I was so desperate. I actually drove to a different M&S to try and find them and they didn't have them in the other M&S. <gasps> oh, they're all I've been thinking. I actually wrote them in my diary. I've been craving them that much, but they don't have them for some reason. Anyway, so I settled for cookie dough ice cream from Aldi instead. So I'm gonna look forward to some of that tonight, but they're not quite the eclair. Um, I got some all butter croissants and pan of chocolates on a Sunday morning. We have been going swimming and we've been really enjoying it. It's been really lovely. Just get up first thing in the morning, go swimming as a family, splash around, have fun, then come back. And you know, after swimming, you're always extra hungry. We have some croissants and pan of chocolates and it's just a lovely way to spend Sunday morning. Some OTs. So I picked up an OT out of the cupboard this week and it was soft as anything. It was so soft and stale. And I thought, oh no, we haven't got any biscuits in the house, so I needed some OTs. Um, I've got some cabbage. I'm going to be making some like really delicious braised cabbage this week um, as part as a side of part of our dinners. Another big bag of mixed frozen fruits. Um, again, we have smoothies pretty much daily. I've got two tinned plum tomatoes. If you've not heard me talk about this before, I always go for the plum tomato variety. So much more flavor. You guys taught me that. I used to get chopped tomatoes, but now I go plum. And there's lots more flavor. Um, we've got a lovely bottle of red wine. Lawrence and I thought we'd treat ourselves this weekend, have some red wine. Um, Lawrence has got some very upmarket uh, fresh and clean apple shampoo. <laughs> I mean, I bet it smells really nice. Let me smell. <sighs> it smells good. Um, but at least he won't be using my expensive stuff just to like wash his body with. And then I've got, and then he's got himself some more deodorant and Lawrence's little Friday night treat or Saturday night treat is Haribo Tank Bastics. And I also got these biscuit spread. I, uh, Lawrence made some waffles this morning. I like to put biscuit spread with mine. So the meals we're going to be having this week are here. Lots of meals planned out. I've already got lots of stuff in the fridge and freezer. I sorted out the fridge and freezer this week. So that's always a good starting point when I'm meal planning. I thought I would show you today's haul. Subscribe if you want to see the next three for under 15 pounds video from Aldi, one pot meals. And I'll see you again really, really soon for my next video. Bye.